All right, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Ariela, good evening. Diana, good evening. Hi, Wendy. Great to see you here. Uh, how are you guys? How are you doing? Wait a second. I forgot. You have my dinner. I was cooking. Mm, can you hear me? I'm sorry. I, I can. I'm having so much internet here. Um, can you hear me, guys? Uh, am I am I breaking a little bit, or can you hear me well? No. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, Ariela. I just heard cooking. <laughs> I miss the rest of it. <laughs> so you were cooking, yes. you said? I said I was cooking. Ah, oh, okay, okay. But did you finish? Uh, I mean, you're yeah. fine there. Yeah. I already oh. finished. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. So that is really good to hear. So yeah. Wendy, thank you so much for being there. I saw you super early. And uh, Diana, thank you so much for being uh, here as well. Uh, I just see somebody is going to join later. Oh, Diana, okay. Okay, okay, no problem. So she is going to be just a listener, I believe. Well, um, Ariel, I'm super happy to hear you. You know, I hope you're feeling definitely better, that your uh, health is getting better. Uh, Wendy, in, mm -hmm, in regard to the question you were asking me in that some minutes ago about the, the platform, uh, I have some exercises today. We can practice the exercises. And then um, if you have like further questions, uh, we can check those, right? Because probably the rest of the guys are having the same difficulty. Mr. Valle, good evening. Juan Carlos, good evening. Hi, Juan Carlos, how you doing? How you doing, Mr. Valle? Is everything okay? Fine, thank you. Just fine. Hello, I'm glad to hear your voice. <laughs> how are you, Juan Carlos? Are you still at work? Are you working? Tonight, no teacher. It's my home. You're at home? Yes. Hey, yes. So we are going to bombard you with a lot of questions, Mr. Rivas. Okay. <laughs> we got a uh, lot of questions for you. Hi, good evening. Uh, George, good evening, George. Great yeah. to see you here. Thank you so much for joining. Really nice to see you. And uh, And I bet you are in San Miguel, right? Yes, I'm trying to connect in from my computer, but I have problem. I mean the cell phone. Okay, but if you feel comfortable with the cell phone, that is all right. Um, so uh, yes, let me know if you need some help. I'm still help. trying. Ah, okay, okay, no worries, that's okay. Well, but thank you. It's really nice to, to hear you again, you know, and I, I hope you're doing fine right there in San Miguel. Tatiana, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for joining as well. Thank you for being here. Well, guys, uh, welcome to session number six. Uh, officially, we are starting unit number two, right, of intermediate six. Um, and we have a couple of things to check today. We are going to start working with another topic that is, um, you know, unit number two about like some management. But also we are going to review um, some grammatical components from unit number one, especially how to make um, like complex sentences, right? In the platform, you are supposed to put two ideas together, two sentences together. And I don't know if guys, you had difficulties with the exercise in the platform, but we're gonna like, you, you know, practice that a little bit today. Uh, what else? I would say that's it. So um, to get started, guys, I have this little exercise for you. And uh, it's a little bit of a speaking. And let's uh, and take a look at this one, guys. It says there, um, would you rather, now that, um, you know, December is coming, Christmas coming, end of the year is coming and everything. So would you rather go to a mountain or a beach? Um, what kind of person are you? Are you like a beach person? Are you in the beach team? Or are you a mountain person? Are you like a mountain in the mountain team? So, and why, right? So guys, what would you rather take or where would you rather go, mountain or beach? What do you prefer and why? 
Both. <laughs> Both. Why? Yes. Because sometimes the beach is so relaxing, but here in our country is mm -hmm. so frustrating. I mean, it's suffocating. The it's so hot. So mm -hmm. then I would like to be in the mountain because it's so fresh, windy, and calm. I think it's 50 50 for me. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Uh, because I think that beaches in El Salvador are kind of warm. Uh, I don't know how, how it would be <laughs> in comparison to other countries. Um, okay, so 50 50 for Ariela, guys. What about the rest of you? So, would Maybe you rather go for me? Uh -huh. uh, 50 50, uh, but it depends on uh, my mood. Uh, I mean, okay. sometimes, uh, some days I, I feel comfortable uh, being at the beach uh, okay. because the, um, I mean, when it's rainy, I, I, I'd rather to stay at, at home, but uh, some days when it's, when it's uh, the summer, uh, I, I like to go to the mountain, but I guess I'd rather to go uh, to the beach. I, I'm, I'm thinking best, but I, I guess I'd rather to go to the beach because uh, I like the, just even if, if if there is a uh, a hot day, okay, uh, I like to be there because I can drink something that I cannot in the mountain. Mm, what is something you cannot drink in the mountain? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean. <laughs> Um, so I like coffee, stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, because mountains are like very cold places, so sometimes, uh, especially when you go camping, for example. So, you know, I don't know, I don't know, guys, what's something that you can drink in the beach, but not in the mountain. Uh, no, the thing is maybe because the it is uh cold in the mountain, sometimes uh, I cannot drink. So much. Uh, you mean water. alcoholic drinks, I guess, uh, right? Yeah. Even if it uh, is alcoholic or not alcoholic, uh, I cannot drink so much because I don't need it. But in the uh, in the beach, yes. If I go with uh, the beer with a uh, liquor or something, I can drink better than the uh, the mountain, but uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm still saying that it depends on on my mood. Okay, so sometimes it means that you feel like, oh, I want to go to a mountain, I want to go to the uh, to a beach. But uh, still, you know, if you had to select one, uh, so which one would you rather take? So would you rather go to a mountain uh, or a beach? If you really get the to beach. choose, I get the beach. Yeah. Okay, so reach for you. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> it just called my attention that it was like, what's something you cannot drink <laughs> in a mountain? Okay, very nice. So we got like a beach, and then Ariela said mountain beach, but still we got to select one. Guys, what about the rest of you? So would you rather go where? In my case, uh, both. Okay. Both. But if you have to select one, if you have to choose one, which one would you take? No. No. 50-50. <laughs> but let's stay one. Let's stay one. And tell us why. I mean, I like beach. I like mountains. But if I have to choose one, I will go to a mountain because I think that uh, you have a contact, you know, a direct contact with nature. Uh, mm -hmm. And I love trees. Yes. I love walking. So... I will go Dep for a mountain. Depend a uh, mountain and um more cool. More it is cool? cooler. I, I don't. I don't like. Oh, and you don't like cold environments. You don't like cold, cold no. places. No. Oh. And okay. Kind of. Kind of. I. I. I am very 
uh, cool, cooler is friolenta, no sé cómo decirlo. Oh, no, you can say I don't like cold places. Yes, I don't, I don't like uh, cool places. And okay. in the oh. beach, in the beach, uh -huh. uh, for example, the Cameron, the Cobanos, or other beach, for example, Roatán, okay. or other. Uh, how do you say tranquilas las olas? Uh, so I don't know, like waves are a little calmer. Calmer, yes. Then in El Salvador. In El Salvador, only the Cameron or Los Cobanos or I don't remember. <laughs> okay, okay. So so in general, which one would you take? So would you go for beaches then? Or would you prefer a beach? Mm, yes, prefer a beach. Okay, so interesting. So you will go for a beach because you don't like cold places. Wow. I don't like hot places. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it sounds super crazy. It's, All right. Uh -huh. in the, uh, at night, it's very cool in the month. Okay. Uh, yes, it could be. In, it could be. in, in day, in, in day is rich or delicious. <laughs> delicious. Oh, yes, during oh. the day, it's like pretty cool. All right, all right, nice. Good to hear that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Well, Nelson, what can you tell us, Silvia? What about you guys? Uh, Susana, Silvia, what can you tell us? Good evening, guys. Hey, Raquel, mm -hmm. good evening. So what good can evening. you tell us about this? Uh, mountain or beach and why? Uh, I, I uh, rather go uh, a beach. Okay, why to a beach? Yes. Why, Nelson, why? Mm, sorry. Mm, it's okay, it's fine. I like, I, I like, I like a beast, uh, mm -hmm. boy, boy, uh, a a piece, uh, cocktails. But in the mountains, you have hotels too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can go to uh, El Pital, Hotel. you can go to Miramundo, mm -hmm. and you get some little hotels. So, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So, beach or mountain? Beach. Why? Is it colder? Is it cooler? Uh, because uh, I don't know if there is something that you can do there. Why, guys? Why? Why the beach? Uh, it's a uh, 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 Oh, okay. Uh, salinitas. Okay, so you have some blessings, Salinitas. Okay, well, guys, I I am super impressed because uh, and I I am surprised I have to say because I thought you would say mountain uh, and not beach. Okay, <laughs> okay, really interesting, guys. What about the rest, uh, Maria Elena? Good evening. Tell us, Maria Elena. So, which one would you uh, select, or which one do you like, guys? Mountain or beach? Uh, Maria Elena? I think I saw Maria Elena. Maria Elena, your, your microphone is on, but we don't listen to you. Me, teacher. Uh, yes, Jorge, tell us. Jorge? George. George, where are you? <laughs> George, I lost you. So we lost you. I think you're mute. Hello, teacher. My Hi. connection yes. is it's so bad. 
right it's now. It's a little unstable. No worries, no worries. It's fine. Yes. But can but you listen I to us? To... Yes, <laughs> right now I listen. But Perfect. I want to share with with you about uh, that question. Okay, I nice. Like I like both both of them, but okay. uh, currently I practice in trail running, so I okay. I prefer the mountain. But both okay. of them are good to me. Ah, very nice. So okay. So um, do you normally go on the weekend? Do you normally go like you know to climbing? The yes, actually, to the I, yes, actually I want to participate in November twenty-five, maybe okay. in a race in Alegria Lake. Oh, super nice. Okay. So because of that experience, you will go with a mountain. Yes, that. I, I like that and I have been uh, doing race mm -hmm. or running mm -hmm. maybe seven years ago. Wow, it's quite a long time. And so how many kilometers do you participate in? How many uh, kilometers in, do you normally like uh, run or walk? Uh, or in which category? More than, more than 20. Wow, always. more than 20 kilometers. It's a lot. Yes. Wow. And running, jogging? Yes, running, but depend because there are uh, areas when you know you don't, you can run, mm -hmm. just, yes. just walk. walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, but my total the, admiration goes to you. The, the difficulty. You're totally right about it. Wow, but 20 kilometers, I think that it's a lot, especially running or jogging. So uh, you must have a lot of stamina. Yes. That's Already? my participation, teacher. I oh, can okay. hear pretty good but i i try oh thank you thank you so much no worries jorge. uh we can hear you i have uh, a question to, to jorge oh okay go ahead it, it, it is not uh I, I i mean i know that it is not the same running at the beach but uh i know it's different than running in trail but you don't think that if you go to the beach you can also practice at the beach, and uh, I mean, in the sun. Could you, could you please like repeat training. that? I... Could you please repeat that? It's hard to hear because the, the signal is terrible. I, I was telling you that if you go to the beach, also you can uh, run in the sun. Uh, I mean, in the beach, I know this is different running in the <laughs> sand than running on trail, but I, I guess also you can uh, also practice in uh, there, right? Sorry, Jorge, I can hear you. you. Can, okay, um, so Mr. Uh, Baye, I think that we can write it in the chat for Jorge um, because of the difficulties we are having with the with the connection, right? Yes. Can you be so kind yes, to please, write the question, please? Yes, please. Okay, we'll write it. Eh? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we will wait for your answer, Jorge. Jorge, but we can hear you. So we can hear you. But can I, really I can hear. I, I'm I don't know why, but um okay, uh can you select um, I think it's okay. 
You are in the cell phone. Do you see the uh, volume icon on top? We can hear you low and clear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I I think you can hear me. Yes, Do we can see? hear you. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so hopefully uh, we can get Jorge back because uh, we can hear him, but for some reason he cannot listen to us. All right, guys, so I guess we already got this part that some of you or most of you are more like beach lovers rather than rather than a mountain a lovers, right? So which is all right. No puedo volver a ingresar. Oh, Guadalupe is having issues. Okay, where is Guadalupe? Guadalupe, Guadalupe, where are you? No, she's gone. Okay, guys. Now um, today we're going to talk a little bit about this topic. We are going to get started in unit two, but I have some vocabulary before uh, we start practicing, all right? And guys, I have some expressions here that we are going to um, use today, okay? So guys, first, uh, repeat with me, please. Let's repeat the first, grumpy. Grumpy. Mm -hmm. Next one, guys, pissed off. Pissed off. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat with me, guys. Next one. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it, Don't get... Let it get to you. And the last one, irritated. Irritated. All right. Wendy, please, can you read the definition for grumpy? Can you read that one for us? Okay, grumpy. Someone who is often in a bad mood and complains a lot mm -hmm. as all as people. Mm -hmm. he, he such a grumpy old man. Old okay. man. Yes, thank you so much. Exactly. So guys, we have the word grumpy. If you are in a bad mood all the time, and if you complain a lot, like, oh, everything is expensive. Oh, the weather. And everything is like that, you know, and all the time you are complaining, you are a grumpy person. Guys, are you grumpy? Are you grumpy people? Do you complain a lot? Are you angry all the time? No, nobody. Sylvia, are you grumpy? Are you a grumpy person? Ariel, are you a grumpy person? I am. Ariela, you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you complain a lot? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, I was yeah. not expecting that. <laughs> okay, Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Manuel, are you a grumpy person? Do you complain a lot? Are you in a bad mood? Oh, finish eating. I'll get back to you. No problem. Finish there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Juan Carlos, are you a grumpy person? Juan Carlos, where are you? Okay, I lost Juan Carlos. Hopefully he gets back to us. Susana, are you a grumpy person? Um, sometimes, teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, but why? I mean, or how? Do you complain a lot? Are you always angry? Are you always like irritated or something like that? Um, but it's an occasion. Uh, but it's a uh, mm, uh, in a special for my my daughter and my son. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but you are grumpy, a, or they are grumpy? No, with with the uh, day, mm -hmm. uh, I grumpy. <laughs> oh, you get grumpy with them. Okay, okay, got it, got it. All right, guys, next expression we use is uh, pissed off, right? 
Um, so, uh, Silvia, please, can you help us read it? Can you read the definition for, for peace stove? Okay, good evening. Hi, Miss, good evening. Oh. Hi. Uh, peace, peace, peace of mm -hmm. British uh, slow. Mm -hmm. uh, angry. Uh, example, okay. I was really pissed off by her attitude. Thank you so much. Okay. So guys, pissed off is like extremely, extremely, extremely angry. All right. It says here British, but actually, no, it's not just British. It is in USA and, you know, in England, uh, they are super common. So I was pissed off. I was extremely angry, but this is not a formal word. This is informal and you will listen to this a lot. Next one we have is irritated. So let's go with the next one that is irritated. Um, Mr. Gaurete, please, can you help us with irritated? Hi, Maria Elena, I'm happy to see okay. you. Irritated. Hi. Hi. Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Irritated when something makes you a bit angry to be honest. I am a bit irritated with my husband. He promised me dinner the tall we held half. To work later. Okay, thank you so much. Exactly. So the person says, when something makes you a bit angry, right? Oh, I was so irritated. So we can use some expressions. Um, hi, Claudia. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, let me see. I think I got more people. Mm, no. Okay. So. If you pay attention, grumpy, pissed off, don't let it get to you, and irritated, those are expressions that we use to say, I am angry. So today, guys, today we are going to eliminate, we are going to avoid the word angry. Do not say the word angry. We are going to find other ways to use it, okay, we are going to find other ways to express feelings, but don't say the word angry, all right? We can say, oh, I was uh, irritated. I was feeling really grumpy. <clears throat> I was pissed off, right? That is extremely angry, but don't say angry. We have this other expression, don't let it get to you. Oh, if you are angry, you are super crazy, but don't let it get to you, all right? So we are going to talk a little bit about if you are angry, if you are not angry, um, how you deal with anger and all those things. So take a look at the following expressions. Guys, let's read them together. It says expressing anger. Um, read with me, guys, please. I don't believe it. Let's repeat. Let's, re it. let's repeat it, please. What a pain! What a pain! What a pain! But with feeling, right? Like you're angry. <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible? I could really do without it. I, I could really do without, without, it. without it. It really gets on my nerves. I have had it up to here with. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm fed up with. I'm fed up with it. Damn it. Damn it. But with feeling, guys. <laughs> Imagine Damn. you're super angry. Uh, you don't say like, damn it. <laughs> you say like, damn, right? Like, damn it. All right, next one. Rubbish. 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 Get out of my way. Get out, Get out, of, out of my way. way. That's the last straw. 
That's the last the straw. Last straw. straw. No. I like this expression. That's the last straw, right? Next one. Oh. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind, mind your own business. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Imagine, guys, that I ask you, hey, uh, you have two boyfriends, right? <laughs> hey, you have two girlfriends, right? It is not my business. <laughs> so you can tell me, oh, mind your own business. Yeah. It's like none get of your business. Into your thing. Uh huh. Like, don't. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you said it perfectly yes so mind your own business next one it's none of your business it's none of your business it's none of your business next one shame on you shame on you shame shame on shame on you shame on you like if you tell me, right? Oh, I forgot my to pay my bill. Shame on you, you know? Like, oh, I'm so disappointed, right? Shame on you. Next one. I don't mm. think that's very clever. I don't, I don't think, think that's, that's very, very clever. clever. Very, very, clever. That's very clever. I get so irritated. I get so irritated. I can't stand it any longer. I, I can stand it any longer. longer. Please, I'm so mad right now. Please, I'm so mad right now. Okay, guys. So, um, we are not going to say the word angry today, but you can use any of these expressions. Oh, um, if I tell you, for example, yesterday I was sick because of my children. I don't have babies, but because of my children. So I can say, yesterday I was sick and tired of my children. So you don't need to say angry all the time. I'm fed up with it. Oh, I'm fed up with my classes. I'm fed up with my job. I'm fed up with my reports. So I'm fed up means I am angry. I'm tired, right? Uh, these expressions, damn it and rubbish, those are in this very moment. Something bad happens, damn it, right? Oh, rubbish. Yeah. So it's to express anger as well in other ways. Uh, we have also these other expressions. That's the last straw. You know what? That's the last straw. I'm out of here. That's the last straw. I don't like this job. I'm going to quit. Right? Like the last straw, what, what comes to your mind with the last straw? What do you think? Mm like the last thing you can handle amazing yes this is the last thing um i'm not going to stand all right uh, like this one i can't stand it any longer so i'm not going to stand anything else i am quitting this job right i'm out of here so we can use a lot of these beautiful expressions to talk about anger all right and this is exactly what we are going to do. So remember, please, guys, don't say the word I was angry. No. And we are going to do the following because the only way how the vocabulary, our vocabulary can change is by using synonyms, basic to intermediate level. So please, uh, I have a little, um, maybe not condition, but penalty. <laughs> Okay, so if someone says the word uh, angry, I was angry, she was angry, someone was angry, okay, uh, you need to make a short presentation, short presentation. Okay, so guys, that is the penalty, right? Don't say the word angry. Use synonyms. Use, I was upset. I was irritated. Um, I was so, I don't know. It, get, it got to my nerves, right? Use other expressions. And if I listen to an angry, sorry, but we have short presentations. <laughs> okay, so uh, take a look at the following uh, part that I have right here. And it says here, discuss the following questions. So what causes anger? 
what do you think makes a person um, get upset or disappointed? Do you think men and women show their, um, their oh, I'm sorry, the, I made a mistake here. Uh, this is not angry, but this is anger. So we have the word angry that is molesto, but we have anger that is enojo, right? So do you think that men and women show their anger differently? Uh, or do we express when you are upset the same way? What do you usually do when you get angry? So what do you do when you get upset? Do you count to five? Do you go away? What do you do? Is getting angry an um, effective way of dealing with problems? You know, uh, what do we do, right? So what is, um, is it effective or not? So guys, we are going to talk about these questions, all right? We are going to do it in groups, but please guys, don't say the word angry. <laughs> Let's use synonyms, all right? Uh, give me one moment. I'm going to invite you to go to some groups. Guys, uh, try to give your opinion, try to express it. The only way to know if you are doing fine or not is by talking, right? So let's talk. But just remember, don't say the word angry. Okay, everybody, so we have 10, 15 minutes. Give your opinion, try to use all the vocabulary uh, I shared with you. And then we have ideas over here. So go, guys. Let's go, please. Uh, 10 minutes. Uh, Guadalupe, are you all right? Is your internet better than in access? Or do you have access here? Uh, so, Wendy, let's join the group. Guadalupe, um, are you here? Are you around? Let's go to the group, please. Unamonos al grupo. Go to the group, guys. Eh, Raquel, no sé si va, cola, va a estar eh, participando. You can join the group, too. Mr. Rivas, let's go to the group, please. Let's talk, Mr. Rivas.
uh, Silvia, let's, um, I don't know, Miss, if we can go to the group so we can participate. Okay, teacher. Mm. But uh, Silvia, no, no se escucha bien, o se le está quebrando. Is, are you breaking a little? No. Yes, um, my signal is very bad. Um, let's do something. Uh, turn off your, comp the, your, your computer, I tell you. No, turn off uh, your camera <laughs> because I do the same. My camera is giving me problems right now, so I turn it off. Turn off your camera. Um, hopefully the connection will get better. And let's go to the group. Give me one second. I'm going to invite you over. Okay, so turn off your camera. There's no problem. Let's turn it off and participate with no camera. But speak, Miss. I want you to speak. Speak as much as you can. Todo lo que pueda, Miss. Let's go. <laughs> let's go for it. Okay. So I already sent you the invitation to go to the group.
Okay, guys, so we were talking a little bit about this uh, anger control management thingy, right? Um, and we were saying before, let's try to use uh, different words, different vocabulary. Uh, otherwise, we stay with the same happy, angry, happy, angry. So try to modify that. Try to use other synonyms, other words, other expressions. Um, so you can also increase your vocabulary. So guys, I have here four questions I would like to have for victims <laughs> or for volunteers, whatever comes first. Uh, these are the questions. So what causes anger? Uh, do you think that men and women show their anger differently? What do you usually do when you get angry or upset? And is getting angry an uh, effective way of dealing with problems? The questions are kind of not easy to answer because it involves a lot of things, but we are going to have like a one minute participation. So guys, in one minute, try to answer the whole question. Try to give us as much information as you can. Uh, do I have any volunteer? Hey, Jorge, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm here. Hi. So you were able to get into your computer. Glad to see. Yes. I could. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, guys, who wants to volunteer? Jorge, your microphone is on. So let's go with you. <laughs> okay. Let's start yeah. with you. So, Jorge, you can select the question. You can select the question you want. Uh, you have from one to four to give us an opinion, but this is going to be only one minute participation. So in one minute, try to give us as much information as you can. So just one, just one question. Mm -hmm. Only one question, yes. <laughs> from okay. one to four. I chose the number, the number one. Okay, number one, very nice, uh, go. Uh, I consider I I have to be patient when when with people who who are distracted because they they don't pay attention that uh, when I was when I I am trying to explain something go go are making other other stuff okay and i consider it, that is a, a it that is disrespectful for me because uh i go, maybe go. i'm going to go. do the best effort to today know something new but okay, go. they don't they don't want to okay to know that. I thought you saw it. <laughs> okay, very nice. Oh, okay. I <laughs> saw you sweating. <laughs> okay, now really good job. Really good job. Really good explanation, you know. Um, and very interesting what you mentioned that it makes you kind of upset when people don't pay attention to you because uh, you are doing your your you're trying to your best, right? To explain something. Thank you so much. Uh, Wendy, thank you so much. So I see your hand up. Wendy, what number would you choose? You can choose two, three, or four. Uh, one. <laughs> but Jorge chose already number four, one, so let's talk about the others. <laughs> but you have a lot to talk. Uh -huh. So which one? No, pues no. No sé. Tal vez en el cuarto. La cuarta que dice is, is getting angry an effective way of dealing with problems? Do you usually do way? Okay. No, you have other uh -huh. other in, in other occasion. <laughs> no, my dear, let's do it now. <laughs> So uh, come on, you're volunteering. Uh, do your best, you know. So um, just give it a try. Uh, if you get a stuck, no worries, we can help you. So um, okay, Wendy, I'll give you. Uh, uh, um, okay, I'll give you number three. I'll give you some seconds so you can think about it. Hey, Manuel, let's go with you. So Manuel, number two or number four? Which of them? Okay, teacher. Uh the number four 
Very nice. Is getting angry an effective way of dealing with problems? Let's see what yes. you got. One minute. Go. Okay. Go, go. okay. Uh, normally, uh, people uh, give the other person when the problems uh, came out in the in the store. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, show uh, my emotion in this case, bad emotion, because uh, nobody like to like to, to have problems, but uh, it normally in the world or in the in the house, in uh, anywhere, uh, we, we have to encounter a different uh, situation, but I think uh, getting angry and effective way but uh, many uh, ways to dealing or solve problems uh, firstly uh, and time is over <laughs> i'm sorry about that all right all i right. didn't say hi. i didn't say nothing teacher Okay, but you, kept, but you kept on talking, and that is what matters. Um, just one, one question, because I'm not sure if I understood correctly. You mentioned that getting angry is an effective way. No, it's, it's not. Oh, it is not. Okay, I'm sorry. Not, I missed yeah. that part. Okay, okay. So no worries. You will tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> okay, Tatiana, uh, I saw your hand up. So Tatiana, which one would you... Oh, I think that we can go with number two. Do you think that men and women show their anger uh, differently? Uh, yes, teacher. I think women are are ang angry than men, mm -hmm. but I think uh, men are uh, men tend to express they 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 angry with a. Uh, uh, I don't know, aggressive ways or sometimes with violence. And women are, mm, the most of the time we are, we are upset, but whatever. Okay. Uh, but uh, a little, little thin or, or I don't know, but we are, we are all sometimes are angry. And I think we used to a screen or we used to speak loud and that things uh, are different that men they they show with violence sometimes and so and we don't do that i think okay uh, the most of the time my time is over <laughs> wait no no it is over <laughs> okay oh uh, really nice i really like the way you kind of explain that you know that sometimes um we express more like physically probably or the, we tend to scream we tend to shout and do different things all right very nice okay guys let's build some vocabulary uh, first we have the word angry and we have the word anger right so they are a little bit different guys repeat with me please angry angry and let's repeat the second anger Anger. Different pronunciation, similar words. So angry and anger. Guys, super quick. Uh, can you give me one example using angry? And can you give me one example using anger? If you feel more comfortable writing down, it's okay. You can write your example. So one example with angry and one example with anger. I feel angry when the food isn't ready. <laughs> so you feel angry when the food isn't ready? Okay, that's a nice one. Uh, teacher, I, I think angry is when you is, I don't know, the qual the quali qualify and maybe anger is the noun. Of the yes, 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 that is correct. Actually, it is the same uh, meaning but we use it a little bit different, right? So um, yeah, you can say I am angry or I get angry when the food is not ready, which is okay. What about anger? Can you give me examples using anger? 
We don't say I get anger, so I get anger. Uh, this wouldn't be okay. This wouldn't be possible. Or I am anger. Mm -mm, this is not possible. So because feel... anger is different. I feel anger. Mm, that would be I feel angry. So what about anger? So anger is a noun. So normally uh, it's like. Can you give me an idea? How can we express anger? The, the people are anger to hear that. That would be angry. So people are angry to hear that. What about anger? Molestia. No, it is the same. Angry and anger, they are the same. But the difference is how we use it. Have you ever seen the word anger management? So anger management is because we are talking that uh, about angry, right? People get angry, so we have anger management or uh, the control, right, of your emotions. So can you give me some examples with anger? Guys, if you got no ideas, let's go into internet super quick and let's try to find an example uh, using anger so we can, you know, use it in context. So anger is the emotion. Hi. Yes, Jorge. Yes, Manuel. I, I don't know if your hand was up. Yes. I have to avoid to to be anger. Okay, okay. That was a really good. Wait, that was a really good. So I have to avoid a anger. Just like that. I have to avoid anger. Teacher, I was uh, checking on the internet and anger is also known as wrath or rage. It's an intense emotional state. That and is correct. It's related with heart or treat. Okay, okay. That is a strong emotion. Yes, we can use that. So anger is a strong emotion. Okay, that's a really good sentence. Guys, can you give me other examples where to use the word anger? So, because we know how to use angry. Oh, I am angry, she is angry. Okay, perfect. What about the word anger? So I have to avoid anger. So this is perfect. Anger is an, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. This is I know. So anger is a strong emotion. Okay, that's all right. What else? Do you find another example with the word anger? A teacher I found his he was able to hold back his anger and avoid a fight. Very nice, exactly. So, what is the difference, guys, between angry, angry, and anger? That normally anger can be a subject, or anger you can say it's like his anger or her anger, right? And we are not talking just about the feeling, but we're talking about like la furia, la rabia. So if you take a look, uh, the use of the word is just different, right? Um, so I can say, for example, um, I think this is a really good example. That is, um, I need to control. I don't say my angry, right? I need to control my anger so that is the one just be careful when we are using angry and anger because that can vary a little bit right so um coming into this part guys of anger management or anger control i have some questions for you how do people express their anger 
So guys, can you write super quick five words that come to your that comes, you know, five words that come to your mind on how people express their anger? What do people do when they are super, super um, stressed out or they are feeling uh, fed up of something? How do people express their anger? How do you express your anger? In in the face, teacher, when we are when we are upset, uh, well, I I always change my face and I don't know. I, I, I you frown like this. Okay, so that is called frowning. Okay, so you frown. Yeah, your you close your eyes a little bit. Okay, so you frown. Mm -hmm. I frown a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, what else, guys? How do you express your anger, guys? Do you I scream? Do you shout? I, I yell. I have a color teacher. You yell. I yell. Okay, you yell. What else? The adults. Change your color. Yeah. You change your? Your color of your the color. skin. Ah, what? Red. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You blush? So your your skin, your face changes color. You blush. You get red. Uh, not get to not to me, but I know people that that is that happen. Yes, oh. most most the people the ears change color. Oh, but they get red. red. Like, yes. They, oh, okay. So red. okay, okay. That is called a blush, right? So they blush, they get super red. Okay, yeah, what else? Tomato, tomato red. red. Uh -huh, tomato, like super, super red. Uh, what else? Um, the people get violent. People get violent. Okay, usually, do you get violent, guys? Usually the parents. Ooh, that kind of people, they are super anger and said words that hurt. But they don't mind because they okay. are anger. Okay, so you can get violent. You said something interesting that is related to a verbal expression. Yes. So probably people, uh, they use like some violent language or they swear, right? So swearing is kind of yeah. uh, use uh, bad words. I'm going to call it bad words. So bad words or swearing, okay. Any, anything else? Maybe, teacher, maybe I, there are some expression in their, in their eyes. You, you, you can <laughs> what see, kind of expression? You can see a, a, a focus maybe. The, ah, okay. The, so you the, stare? A yes, stare I, is when you look at a person, uh, but in a fixed manner, right? So it's yeah. like looking somebody, watching somebody. But if I'm talking, I don't know, to Manuel, I'm like, you know, looking at him directly yeah. without moving. So you stare. And, and maybe the, the people are thinking what they say. Are you okay. kidding? Okay, I get sarcastic. So. <laughs> okay, and and it's I think it's very common, right? That we cry sometimes when we are extremely upset. Uh, so you, you do you cry when you're super angry? Do you cry when you're extremely upset? Or not really? You don't get there. Ah, oh, you're super strong. <laughs> okay, so I think it's super common to that when we are upset, so we express our anger this way. Okay, guys, very Maybe nice. Or other expression could be get nervous. Mm, okay, we get nervous. That can happen as well. Okay, very nice. Um, guys, I have hi, something. Hi, yes. The, hi, the boy. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Greetings. Oh, you you gel, you gel. Yes. Oh, you start yelling or shouting or screaming. So we can express and get in different ways. Okay, so scream. All right, uh, guys, I want to share something with you. Uh, this is a little video, but I'm not gonna play it here. I'm going to give you some minutes. 
Uh, so you can watch the video on your own. The video is three minutes, three, four minutes. And it is actually about, about anger management, all right? Uh, we are not going to watch it in groups because I want you to watch it on your own. And um, there are some things they mentioned about anger management. Please take notes. And super important, please, guys, no subtitles, no caption, no subtitles. Try to listen to it. Try to understand as much as you can. Try to take notes of the words, but try not to have subtitles on, all right? I'm going to give you five minutes so you can listen to the video and try to get as much as you can, and then we share the video. So guys, the link is right here in the, in the chat. So you can click on it, watch the video. I'm going to close everybody's microphone so you can watch it on your own. And then we share that, all right? So five minutes, guys. Let's go for the video.
I think we're ready, teacher. We're ready to see the video. Perfect. Okay, guys, did you finish watching the video as well? Sorry, teacher, what did you say? Did you finish watching the video? Did you finish yes. the video? Okay, very nice. Guys, what is the most important thing you heard from this video? It is for kids and adults, but anything that, you know, caught your attention? They are talking about the five steps to control the anger. Okay, nice. Using the A, B, C, D method. Okay. Okay, nice. Do you think the ABCD method can work? Yes. Yes, yeah, definitely. But I uh, currently I don't get to number to the letter E. The okay. Last one. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what are the steps, guys? A awareness. awareness. Okay. B breathing. Okay. Uh, C counting, counting to ten. Okay. Uh, uh, distance. Distance. Okay. And, and E. E express yourself. Okay. So which one? Uh, in which step are you? <laughs> in A. I stop one in the first. <laughs> so normally you stop in A in awareness. Yes, actually I was sharing this with my son and, and I was telling him we have to do this because my son is angry too. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's anger, okay. Anger management activity. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you? Do you get to breathing? Do you get to the part of counting? Do you get to the part of distance? Or you express your emotions. You tell somebody, hey, I'm angry because of this. In my case, teacher, I, can, I currently use the letter A to B. No, B, C, D. <laughs> so A is your D. From A to the D. Oh, okay. Not E, not like expressing your emotions. <laughs> no. Okay. E. Normal. So you are stopping distance. Yes. You just go away. Guys, do you normally, do you go away when you are like extremely upset? Yes, that's, that is the, the way that I take. Okay, how do you deal with anger? All right, all right, nice. Was the video uh, easy to get or kind of difficult? Did you find it challenging or not much? Not much. No, Not much. Know, for me it was, I think they they use, a, I don't know, a difficult words. And I, I have to watch two times the video because at the beginning I couldn't understand a, everything. So I, I watched two times. Okay. I guess it was because the accent. Yes. Uh, yes, I think it was <laughs> British, right? I don't know what kind of accent it was. It doesn't sound it's British to me. Um, uh, I guess uh, the the person was an Indian or, or it something sounds like that. kind of an Indian yeah. British. Uh, so yeah. Kind of the combination of both. Uh huh. Yeah. But yeah, the accent can be a little bit hard sometimes. So guys, we are going to try to calm a person today. <laughs> Um, you already mentioned that you tend to be kind of grumpy, so let's take a look. Here we have a couple of expressions, guys, to tell somebody, hey, relax, right? Because normally it's just, hey, relax, but there are other ways that you can tell somebody. So we can say, hey, calm down, right? Hey, take it easy. I like to tell a person, hey, you know, like go down a little bit. Chill out. So I really like this one, and you will hear this a lot. Hey, chill out or chilling, right? Probably you have heard the expression chilling. So hey, chill out, relax, take it easy, go smooth. Um, do not take it personal. This is like very important too. Like especially when something bad happened to you, ah, oh, don't take it personal. You know, try to relax a little bit. Don't let it get to you, right? Don't let it get to your mind. 
I understand how you feel, but then we normally try to express some sympathy too. Don't take it serious or don't take it seriously and just relax. Okay, guys, let's see how well uh, you are in trying to relax somebody. Uh, we are going to get in pairs uh, and we are going to pretend that you are extremely angry. So one person, guys, is going to be the angry person. <laughs> Um, so you gotta be super upset and you have to tell us what happened to you, right? Like, hey, you know, I'm super annoyed because today I had a, a fight with my boss. He was shouting at me and I was pretty, um, I was, I am fed up with my boss, you know? And so person B is going to come, right? And it's going to be like, relax, take it easy, right? So guys, the other person is going to be uh, like the, the friend, who is always trying to help us, you know, control our emotions. Let's see how it goes, right? So you can tell the person the five steps like, okay, now breathe, try to breathe. I don't know, let's count together or let's see how you deal with the situation, all right? Uh, you can use any of these expressions to express your, your sympathy, of course. Uh, guys, we are going to practice this. We have only five minutes to do it. Um, so try to use as many expressions as you can hear. And remember, guys, try not to use angry, angry, angry. Try to use other words. I feel so irritated. I feel so fed up. That was the last straw that happened to me, you know. Uh, some of you are going to be in groups of three, but some guys are just listeners. So hopefully it works. Guys, let's go there. You choose who is going to be the angry person, who is going to be the friend, who calms everybody down. Five minutes, guys, and then we come back. So let's go now. Let's go, please. Let's join it. Try to feel really upset, guys, <laughs> and try to tell us why. Go, go, go. Let's go to Susana, Mr. Villeda, let's go, Guadalupe, let's go, Mr. Valle, try to join it too. So, to... Here. Here. This here. Same here.
All right, guys. So how did it go? Were you able to express some emotion? Were you able to calm the other person down a little bit? Or was it difficult to tell somebody, hey, relax, you know? It's easier, teacher. It is easier? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. So let's have a couple of victims here, guys. <laughs> Manuel, give me one number from one to four, please. Uh, let me see. Just give me a number. <laughs> from one to four. Three. Uh, three, three number three. Mm, okay, number three. So number th oh, that was Jorge's group. So no. Jorge, Mario, <laughs> Jorge, Mario, Nelson, and Wendy. I don't remember my group teacher. That. <laughs> okay, yes, I'm allowed to go to group. Sometimes having my materials, I have to leave the station and get it again. So that's when I'm going to go into the group. Oh, okay. Um, so Mario, when that happens, let me know so I can switch you. No problem. Oh, or sometimes it's a connection too. Okay, guys, so in your group, who was the person with like having a nervous breakdown? So who was extremely angry? In my group, in my group teacher, I was the anger person. Oh, okay. So you're the, the angry person, and uh, okay, and the rest try to calm you down. Yes. Okay. Perfect. That's so perfect. let's go for it. So, are you good at acting? No, teacher. <laughs> <Not good> <laughs> acting. Okay, guys. Lights, who is camera. a good actor? Action. Uh -huh. but, uh, but I will try to do the best. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. All right. I said I said to my to my partner that I'm angry because because I had a fight with my my boss because they think because he think I don't I don't work. And <laughs> You're lazy. <laughs> That I actually yes that 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 is that that he are thinking, but I telling you I I telling telling that I was I was working there from seven years ago and I wake up pretty early from seven until five p.m. and I try to do my best effort but. They don't complain or they don't understand that. Mm -hmm. And then my partners. Uh, mm, uh, okay, to... okay. <laughs> you guys, try to come. Uh, Jorge, <laughs> he's venting right now. <laughs> he's expressing take his it feelings. Easy. <laughs> take it easy. And that's it. <laughs> really, I can, I can I can do that because take a deep breath. Uh, <laughs> How to not, relax? It's not easy. Someone. It's not easy. Hey, I don't want to see it come back to my office. I'm I'm thinking to go out of the company. Oh, just you ignore them. How you feel? Take it personal, George. <laughs> no, I, I get a decision and I don't change my mind. I understand but, how you feel. I feel so bad because it, it, that never happened to me and I don't want to, to see my boss ever. I'm down. I'm down. Really? But, to say but, that, but, I don't know in my in my shoes. Do not let it get to you. <laughs> okay, Jorge, did you feel that the words they expressed to you calm you down a little bit? No, teacher. I was, <laughs> I was expecting they take me. They. 
breathe and count to 10. He's very younger. Okay, so he's really. I think uh -huh. the way Manuel tried to calm him, just anger more. <laughs> okay, yeah. really? Did you feel it that way? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Like, yeah, right. And it's super common that when a person tells you, don't worry, you worry more. What <laughs> <do you laughs> <say>? <laughs> so when they tell you relax, you feel, you know, more stressed out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Mr. Baya, I thought it was you. Okay. Guys, okay. Very nice job using the expressions. Probably uh, we can use a little bit more of, um, more examples or something. But okay. So, Jorge, good job. Very nice acting. I felt your anger, you know. <laughs> I felt um, how you it's felt it's at that important. very moment. Thank you, easy, George. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so yeah, let's finish it up. Uh, we're gonna like end up the session. Just help me with your attendance. Please give me confirmation. So Ana Raquel, I saw her here. Ariela is here. Claudia, just give me confirmation, girls, please. Present teacher. This day is not here, right? She didn't come. Uh, Diana, yes, Diana was here. Um, Jorge, the acting yes, boy, you know, ready for the Oscar. Uh, Juan Carlos, yes, Juan Carlos was here. Uh, Mr. Palma. Here, teacher. Thank you. Concepcion, no, Concepcion is not here. Barrelena is here. Uh, Mr. Villeda. Mr. Villeda. Hi, Mr. Hello. Thank you for your camera. Really nice to see you. Hey, Mr. Valle. Mr. Valle is right there. Thank you. Nelson. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Norma. No, I don't see Norma here. Olga hasn't come yet. Hey, Silvia. Silvia was here. Thank you. And Susana. Susana was here, Tatiana too, and Wendy too. Here, oh, okay, thank you so much. Um, Silvia, me debe tarea, right? So you owe me some homework. Uh, so whenever you have the time, please, intente completarla. Eh, chicos, solamente haciéndoles la invitación para que trabajemos en la plataforma, que no avancemos tanto como sea posible, right? Para que vayamos eh, adelantados y no nos vayamos quedando atrás o nos vayamos quedando... Pendiente todavía. Thank you guys for that, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Susana, si me regalo un par de minutos, please. I would really appreciate it. Los demás guys estamos dismissed. Have a good night, people. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you, see you. <laughs> Don't get angry. <laughs> Bye, guys. Just a little bit. Bye, sus Just a little bit. <laughs> 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 All right. So have a It's good, good one. Feel better. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can feel better. Maria Elena, ya la escuché. I heard you. Hi. But I only um, listener. Ah, okay. Sí, es que hace unos minutos eh, vi su micrófono, pero no la escuchaba. Pensé que era el micrófono. Pero me alegra. I'm glad. Miss, entonces mañana ya va a estar con nosotros. Will you be with us? Tomorrow, um, I hope. <laughs> Yes, yes, Miss, quiero escucharla. No la he escuchado mucho. Yes, <laughs> I have to listen to you in classes. Okay, so. Very easy, but ah, okay. tomorrow. Yes, yes, whenever you get the time. Thank you. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. You. Bye. Yeah. Hi, Susana. How are you doing? How are I you, Miss? I feel okay. Tired? <laughs> I don't much. Con más eh, tareas, teacher. Homework. Eh, homework in, in my house. <laughs> But it's I uh, finish the class. Uh, I cooking. <laughs> Are you serious? I, so you finish see, classes I and cooking. you go cooking? Cooking scene for my tomorrow. Yeah. For, but for you or for your kids? 
Eh, no, bueno, but it's my, my song and with me. Ah, <laughs> for okay, me. So you, okay, so you cook for you and your baby, okay. How we old lunch, is your... So you make breakfast and you make lunch? Yes, Disha. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. well, uh -huh. You must I, be tired. I start um, working in, at 7 a.m. In the morning. In the but morning, yes. Do you live close to your work? Uh, and sorry, teacher? Do you live close? Do you live near your, your office? No, no. It's a, I work in my work in, in for Las Cascadas. Okay, so you work in Las Cascadas. Uh -huh. And where do you live? I live in Mexicano. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. But do you do you drive? Uh, do you drive to the office? Do you drive I, to work? Yeah, I drive. I get up uh for I where? Four, four five? Four four no four four, four in the morning. Why do morning. you wake yes, why? Yeah. Why do you wake up so early? Uh, but it's a uh, I I I have a, from Mexicanos to Gal to Multiplaza. Yes, it's, it's a like traffic. Thirty minutes. Is there traffic? No, it's a traffic. Yes, teacher. It's okay. a Mex Mexicanos. It's very much traffic. But because you do, you cross all the areas that have schools. Uh, yes, uh, for exactly. Um, yeah, it's a in Mexicano. Do in you live? Do you live near El Cubo? No, no, no. It's a Cedric. Ah, no, um, Mexicanos. You're talking yeah. the area down. That's right. There is a yes, lot of traffic, sure. especially near yes. the market, right? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I, I remember now. Mm -hmm. Wow, four in the morning. You wake up really yes. early. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, okay, but that sounds amazing. Susana, I really like that. I always see you with the camera on and you are always participating. So that is really, really nice. Um, now, my question is, um, how can I help you improve, Susana? So, ¿qué siente que le cuesta más? What do you feel that is giving you a lot of issues? Uh, I, uh, uh, excuse me, Tisha. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Tisha. It's okay, it's uh, okay, no problem. Uh, I difficult is a uh, expression. Uh, it's a... Uh, Orden, organize my ideas. Do you find oh. it difficult to put ideas in order? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. It's a far uh, expression. It's a talking. Um, it's mm -hmm. a, a. I don't. I don't have. I don't have a vocabulary. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. So, vamos a hacer algo. We're, we will be doing something here because uh, con los demás chicos that uh, we have had one on one session, uh, les ha quedado tarea, pero las tareas son uh, different for everybody. So, vamos a trabajar entonces con okay. usted como organización de ideas. Um, primero, first, eh, vamos okay. a trabajarlas eh, para que vayamos teniendo vocabulario. Y para que la estructura sea un poco más fácil, vamos a escribir. Ok, so we're going to write. Uh, por ejemplo, ahorita estamos hablando de emotions y de no. Ok, so write about, write about an experience, right? Uh -huh. eh, en la que usted se molestó. Eh, eh, write about an experience donde usted se molestó mucho. An experience where uh -huh. you were super angry, probably with your son probably with your boss, with the traffic, or because of the traffic, or something like that, right? So, primero va a escribirla first, write it, okay? Uh -huh. Escribirla toda, write it down, utilice los conectores, no se le olvide utilizar eh, later, eh, and also, a medida que usted lo vaya escribiendo, le van a empezar a salir uh -huh. palabras que no sabe cómo expresarlas, right? 
no lo piensa tanto en español, utiliza el verbo y empieza a decirlo. Por ejemplo, I don't know. Eh, one day, two years ago, I was in the office and my boss asked me to complete a report, but it was super late and, you know, it puede dar como muchas más ideas. So write it down, try to use, um, obviamente pasado, porque vamos a hablar de una experiencia que ya pasó, something that it's already gone. Okay. Y cuando ya la tenga, once you have it, necesito que la practique. Practice tanto como pueda. Y cuando ya esté lista, intente grabarse, pero sin verlo, you know. So primero lo escribe, obviamente lo practica, lo repite. Uh -huh. No a memorizarse la de ideas, not to memorize it, sino como de tanto que lo repite, va a sentir que va a ser más fácil de intentar decir las cosas. Uh -huh. So cuando sienta que ya está súper fácil, that you got it, that you got the pronunciation, you got the ideas, que ya está bien ordenadito, intenta grabarse con lo que recuerda. Whatever you remember. Y me va a enviar ese audio. You're going to send it to me. Eh, no le va a tomar quizás más de 5 o 10 minutos, I would say. So, uh, si tiene tiempo en el almuerzo mañana, if you have some minutes, uh, send it to me durante el almuerzo, right? Cuando estamos ya descansando. Or, eh, antes de la clase, you can send it to me. So, pero me va a mandar solamente el audio. Ya es de audio para escucharla, you know, y, y ver qué necesitamos. Necesitamos más colectores o más vocabulario o una revisión de gramática. Like to be super specific y así poder ir, ir dándole seguimiento, right? So, um, envíemelo para mañana cuando tenga tiempito. Whenever you have the chance, okay. all right? Okay, in the at time the lunch is a difficult teacher. I have ah. only only thirty minutes. Thirty, 30 minutes. Ah, lunch. okay. Well, mm -hmm. send it then. Send it to me when whenever you have time. So when you're not busy, when you are done, or when you finish working. Uh, in the Sinole Cati for mañana, if you don't get the time tomorrow, send it to me by Wednesday. So, but, but the idea is como irle dando seguimiento, right? Okay. Si nos va fun funcionando, si, si después ve, like, ay, me funcionó porque me recuerdo más rápido el vocabulario, podemos ir dejando más actividades. Si no funciona, buscamos otra forma. So we can look. La idea es ir okay. dándole seguimiento, right? Que hagamos el mismo ejercicio al menos unas dos semanas. Para que le sea más fácil. So it can be a little easier. Uh, okay, so Susana, I'm sorry, ya le robé tiempo. Thank you so much for your time. Que vaya, okay. well, que vaya a cocinar, mis no cocine, ponga su baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and have a good night. Que descansen, mis. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye.